today we're gonna be restocking my entire shop in alphabetical order if you know my channel my name is tiani and i crochet all the time and i have my own little small business where i sell my crochet products and some other things that aren't crochet and i have finally been working on a super top secret project my own website i know i've been saying it and it's finally coming and in honor of making my own new website i need some products to sell on that website and i don't have much in stock and i also want to retake all of my product photos so in order to do that i need to restock all of my items so here are my old product photos that are kind of on my etsy shop right now and here are the new ones that i want to be on my website and i don't have all the products physically with me so i cannot retake all the photos so that is what this challenge is going to help me do it's going to help me get everything i want restocked and on my new website with new beautiful pictures this challenge is inspired by passionate kelsey's video where she is restocking her own crochet business in alphabetical order and i decided to do that challenge as well because we got to get this website stocked up i've been slowly restocking in a couple other videos but not in a grand enough scale so they just sell out right away i'm not making enough faster than they're getting ordered so hopefully this challenge will like help me pick up the pace a little bit so i was a little bit hesitant to do this challenge because i do not have any a products i have no products where their title starts with the letter a so i was like like, why would I even do this challenge? I don't even have A. But I went through and I have a lot of products. I think there's over 60 products on this list that I want to restock. And we have a lot of Bs. We don't have any As, but we have a lot of Bs. And what I mean by alphabetical restock is every product has a title and all those titles have a first letter. And we're going to be restocking just in the order of the letters from A through Z. I don't have A and I don't have Z, but... I have B through Y, okay? So I made this little scrapbook journal page and it looks a little bit rough because I really under anticipated how many things I needed to restock and how complicated getting them all in order was gonna be because I just sell on so many different platforms. It was just like, it was a mess, but I got everything written down in the order I want to do them before I got into filming so I can have everything ready to go. And let me actually count how many products are on this list right here so i have exactly 61 products on this list that i've written down to restock obviously i have a little bit more products than that but i have a few in stock i think i have maybe 20 something things in stock available which is more than it used to be okay i used to literally have like nothing available like during christmas there was nothing everything was gone but now we're slowly stocking back up but we still got 61 more to go so just a fair warning a lot of these products are going to be crochet cat or beanies because that is my best 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 seller if you guys are new here i'm making those all the time like i'm selling hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of a bunch of different colors bunch of different sizes of cat beanies i know it's a little surprising like who's ordering this many cat beanies but I don't know y'all i don't know my carabini on etsy is one of like the top listings when you search carabini so it is my best selling listing and it's my best selling product so i make it all the time i love making them it's my thing okay it is my thing every shop has their thing and that's my thing but don't you worry there are a few other things like bags and also some older products that haven't been restocked in a long time like scrunchies i used to make scrunchies way back in the day like crochet scrunchies and those are on this restock list i haven't had those since maybe 2021 so yeah we got some fun things bunch of fun colors bunch of different variations and Today, we're going to be starting with the B's since I don't have any A's. And I have eight products that start with B, which I think B is going to be our biggest, chunkiest category because I tried to organize everything based on their actual listing title. Like most of my listings start with crochet and then everything would have just been C and that would not have been fun. So after taking out the word crochet, then we organized it and B is our biggest category and it has eight products. And that's because it's a bunch of things that start with black. So on our to-do list for the B products, we have a all black cat beanie, a black with black fur cat beanie, a black with blue fur cat beanie, a black with white fur cat beanie, and two black and brown cat beanies, one oversized and one regular size, one black and blue cat beanie, and then lastly one bisexual pride flag cat beanie. It is May so that means it's time to get all of my pride flag cat beanies up and stocked and ready to go. I want to have them up before it's actually pride month so people can start ordering them in pride month so that is our to-do list of all the bees we're going to try to tackle in this video don't know how many days it's going to take but we will see it shouldn't take too long i've made over eight hats in a day before but that day ain't today okay we're already in the middle of the day there's no way i'm tackling eight hats in one day and at the end of all this restocking i'll be able to do a giant big photo shoot take a bunch of cute pictures and get all my things listed on my new website hopefully so let's stop all this yapping and get into crocheting we got eight things to crochet and i'm going to start with these solid black cat ribini 
because that is on the top of my list. All right, you guys, we are finally getting started with our first hat. I took a little break, was dealing with some other little problems that the website was having. I'm telling you guys too many details about this website. Okay, this is going to be a whole separate video process of building this website. Yeah, I was just dealing with that. But yeah, we're finally sitting, chilling. We got our YouTube up, we got our yarn ready, and I'm finally getting cozy and crocheting. we finished our first hat our first hat solid black this listing i actually already retook the cute pictures of so this one is just gonna go straight onto the shelf i don't need to take new pictures of it or anything she's just gonna straight get restocked right away i think it's gonna go fast because i literally just made one of these in my last restocking video and then took new prog photos of it and she's already gone so here's another one we'll see how long it'll even last on the shop this in the black and gray they go they go fast so we're gonna make our first check mark on the first one on the list so our next one on the list is a black with black fur carabini and i had just got some black fur from the store last time i went yarn shopping so i do have black fur but i think i'm gonna start that a little bit later not at this exact moment i'm gonna take a little itty bitty break So I just finished the black with black fur. This one was super duper quick and I love making this one. And now I need to actually redo the photos for this one because I don't really like the photos. I redid the photos recently, but I want to redo them again because I don't like them. And this black one we made earlier literally already sold. So I'm thinking I should make another one maybe because like what is the point of restocking if it wasn't even restocked because it's just gone already. I don't know. It depends on how I'm feeling. If I'm feeling frisky, I'll make another all black one. so i did end up deciding to make another all black just because i just want that one to be in stock i just i just need our first one to be in stock okay we got our first one already gone i just I just had to do it and then i already started our next one on the list which was a black with blue fur and i just made the black base it's only seven rows and now i'm gonna add the blue fur as you can see literally do not use this yarn like this is kind of a new listing but also an old listing like i only made it once it was never a custom order listing i just made it once sold it once and then the listing was just sold out since then so yeah that's why this is just barely even used at all don't know what brand this is i think i actually thrifted this yarn so thrifting your yarn is okay guys normalize it it's okay so yeah now i'm gonna add the blue fur brim and then i actually have no idea what the next hat on the list is so we're just gonna have to go look at the list when we're done with this one all right i already got this blue one finished black with blue fur this fur is clearly different than my usual fur but we are gonna be making another fur hat we're gonna be making a black with white fur and that one should be another quick one the fur hats are the quick ones so won't take up too much time oh i need to mark this off on my um little restock list all right got my restock list and we got the third one all done still got five more to go feels like i'm not getting anything done every time i do a restocking video it feels like i'm getting absolutely nothing done don't know why but that's okay now we have black with white fur we're gonna bust that out super fast try to be pick up our pace a little bit so as i've been crocheting up a few hats today i've noticed that my tension today is really really tight like tighter than usual and that just means that like my stitches are tighter than usual and i feel like it's because i'm feeling like tired and down today like if you guys can't tell energy is not up not high so let's make my stitches like tight which is not the best for matching my sizing you know like it needs to be my typical casual crocheting 
sizing and right now it's not that i don't know what's going on don't know why i feel so crappy but it is making me not only go slow but it's making my tension just like weirdly tight i thought it was just the last hat we made like i just thought maybe it's just because i was using a yarn i like a new fresh skein of yarn but this yarn now is not a new yarn it's pretty loose so my tension should be a little bit looser i'm just gonna keep pushing through okay i don't got time to lay down and be lazy but just know that i'm feeling like i want to lay down and be lazy All right, I finished up that black with white fur. I pushed through, got it done, and our next two things on the list are two black and browns, one regular sized and one oversized. So I'm starting with the oversized first. Don't know why I decided to go with the hard one first, but I think it'll make me have the illusion that I'm getting things done because you do the hard one first, fast one last. So then it seems like you got a lot done. So I'm gonna start with the bigger one. So I'm gonna start with the bigger one and then do the smaller one and then we'll have both of them done. <laughs> I just finished the first oversized black and brown. Now I'm gonna start the other size. All right, I just finished our second black and brown and she's super duper cute, very underrated. Like people don't order her as much anymore, but hopefully with these new super cute photos, people will start ordering her again. But I decided to add another hat onto the list. I know we already had like eight to start with, but I wanna make an oversized black because earlier I made a regular size black and why is an oversized black on the list? Because that gets ordered just as much. So we got our new skein of black right here and we're gonna make an oversized black it shouldn't take too long since it's just a solid color so i'm gonna try to whip that up tonight and that'll probably be my last project of tonight so next day and i have finished the oversized black so now i can take two pictures of those i'm actually thinking about taking pictures today because it's going to be a little bit brighter today and i want to take some pictures and get the products listed of the products i made in another video i want them to be like ready for when the video comes out you guys can go look at them if that makes sense and that video is coming out tomorrow so i need to have the products you know ready and listed so you guys can look at them and I'm just gonna take pictures of the products we've made in this video as well because might as well do it all in one big batch but I'm gonna do the next hat on the list before I take those photos I'm gonna make a black and blue cat hair beanie and then the only hat after that is a bisexual flat hair beanie and I was gonna make that right now as well but I do not have hot pink yarn so I need to go to Michael's and get hot pink yarn and I don't know if I'm gonna do that today or tomorrow maybe today maybe tomorrow I don't know so yeah that one is not gonna be in this batch of product photos but I will be getting it done whenever I go get that yarn so last hat for right now is the black in blue and then i will go take a bunch of pictures so let me get this black and blue done and i'll update you guys in a second so we got our black and blue hat done i finished that yesterday then after i finished that i took product photos of all these hats we've been working on and they're looking super cute you guys should go look at them on my etsy shop you should go look at them and now we finally have our very last product in the b category that we need to be restocking and that is the bisexual pride flag and in order to do that i need to go buy some hot pink so that's what we're going to be doing first thing today going to michael's and getting some hot pink yarn to make the bisexual sexual flag carabini and then we'll come back crochet that up and we'll be completely done with all of the bees so i'm back with my hot pink yarn and i also got my blue and my purple that i already had and now we're gonna start our bisexual pride flag and i have no clue how long it's gonna take because i don't make this often enough to have like a timed schedule in my head so i'm just gonna go with the flow and see how long it takes questions what is this hollywood stars and celebrities what do they know do they know things let's find out Oh, gotta take this. It's my boat guy. But he keeps not doing it. That is so typical, Diego. So I thought, okay, if he's not going to ask me, we can oh, take an no, issue. Rookie mistake. So I asked him, and he said no. And then this other girl, Lila K, came up to him and was just like, and he was like, hey, and that's our thing. Hey, what'd you do with my daughter? She had a big night. She was falling asleep on the ride home. Where's the boys? Trips at a friend's house. You know you can get your own, right? All right, about 20 minutes later, we got the hat all worked up. I haven't sewn it together yet, but the colors worked up so well. Here's it right side up. Pink, purple, and blue. Super duper cute. So now I'm about to sew it up on the sides and then weave in all the little ends and then we'll be done with all the bees. 
our bisexual pride flag hat is all done she's super cute and i'm very happy to bring these back in stock because super underrated honestly out of all the pride flags only the lesbian pride flag really sells this one super underrated super underappreciated so hopefully once i retake these product photos she'll get some more love because come on look at these colors so cute so that is our last thing in the bees category so let's mark it off on our list and that's it for the bees we're done we finished i think nine hats let's do a little recap so we started off with a solid black cat ear beanie the original one we made already sold so i made a second one and she hasn't sold yet she's still here and then we made a black with black fur cat ear beanie and then we made a super cute little black with blue fur and then we made another fur hat which was a black with white fur and i'm really loving this color i hope it starts becoming more popular because i think it's super cute and the pictures i took of it so cute all right and then we made a oversized black this one i just added to the list last minute because i thought it would be good to make the oversized size as well so here is the oversized black and then i made two black and browns the oversized black and brown actually already sold so we still have the regular size but the oversized is gone and then we made a super cute black and blue carabini which we haven't had in stock in so long probably since like last year and then lastly we just finished this bisexual pride flag carabini which i love and i haven't taken pictures of this one yet i kind of missed the photo shoot day but i will take pictures of it sometime soon probably once i make all of the other pride flag carabini so they can all kind of drop at the same time but yeah that is all the carabinis we made for this first part of the alphabetical restock i'm so excited to make more parts it's gonna take some time to actually get through everything get through all the letters but i am very excited i'm looking forward to it i already want to start part two like i'm very excited for doing this challenge so if you saw any hats in this video that you think is super cute and you want them for yourself you can go check out my etsy shop it will be linked in the description and all the hats i showed you right now are still in stock at the time i'm filming this video so go check out my etsy shop and get it before they're gone if you want to watch more crocheting videos of mine you can click this place over here or if you're just gonna be ready when my next video comes out you can subscribe right up here and that's gonna be it for part one of the alphabetical restock and i'll see you in my next video Bye, love ya, toodles. <laughs>